Good evening, friends, and welcome to bisptrainings.com. My name is Amit, and today we are going to learn how to calculate depreciation in S space. Although we already had one example in the past about straight line depreciation method, today I'm going to show you one more one of the I mean, one more popular depreciation method called sum of the year digit method. Before I show you how it gets calculated into S space. I'm going to show you exactly what this depreciation method is all about and the formula behind it. Okay, so this is one of the popular depreciation method as I mentioned. The assumption we use in the in this depreciation method is the assets are generally more productive when they are new and their productivity reduces decreases as they become old. Right? So if you buy some machinery equipment during the initial days of his life the productivity is high as it become older and older the productivity decreases this is what the assumption and therefore the formula used over here we use a syd abbreviation and you find the same function used in excel and s base so syd depreciation equals to depreciation base depreciable base uh, remaining useful life and sum of year digit uh, what all depreciable base is remaining useful life and some of year digit I show you in detail in next example. Okay, now this example make your understanding simple. Uh, so when you buy some machinery like uh, computer equipment, you know uh, the initial cost. Let's imagine I'm going to buy a computer equipment and the initial cost of the computer equipment is fifty forty five thousand, and it is estimated the life of the computer equipments are four years. After four years, the salvage value or residual value of the product would remain 5000. Okay, and assets are being depreciated on year to year basis. So, I made a, a tabular view to make it easy to understand. So, we are calculating depreciation for first four years. Depreciable base value is identified by reducing initial cost and salvage value. So which is 40,000 depreciable factors are sum of year digits. So how do you calculate 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1? Alternatively, you can use n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so when you take put this number in this formula, you find 16,000 for first year, 12,000, 8,000, and 4,000 respectively. And you calculate accumulated depreciation, which is in turn sum of all these value. It's like a running sum. 16 plus 12,000 plus 8,000 plus 4,000. So the depreciated value becomes 40,000, which is your depreciable base. Okay. Now, before we run this into S space, let's do the same calculation in Excel in order to make it easy to understand. Okay. So I already, already capped the value over here. So the computer cost is my asset, and the initial value is 45,000, salvage value is 5,000. Number of useful year, we assume it's a uh, uh, 4,000. And depreciable base we identify by reducing uh, computer initial cost and salvage value, right? Which is for 40,000. In Excel, we already use a formula called SYD. Use a SYD formula which takes uh, four argument. First is cost, second is salvage value, and third one is lifespan, and fourth one is for which year we are calculating. So initially we are calculating for first year. The same argument I pass. Uh, for second year, third year, fourth year, and I find this value 12,000, 8,000, 4,000 respectively. When I accumulate them, it becomes 40,000. So your output and the output shown in PPT is exactly the same. Okay. Alternatively, you can manually write the formula as well. So uh, the manually, if you calculate this, uh, is your depreciable base multiplied by remaining useful life divided by number of year digits. Okay. Put this number, you'll find the same value. Um, so when I put this number over here, it's simple. Uh, depreciable base 40,000 multiplied by 4 by 10. For first year, it is going to be 16,000 and 12,000, 8,000, 4,000 respectively. Now let's see how to calculate in S base. In order to calculate in S base in a financial cube, which we built in a previous class, um, I already have member. This is a financial cube. I created a parent category under account called management reporting because this analytics I wanted to use only for management reporting. Okay, uh, so I use a member called double one double one double zero. This is one of my asset. 
this is my computer equipment double one double one double zero yeah cash checking sorry this is my asset called cash checking and uh, I use a residual life and uh, SYD depreciation method so output would be going to store over here rather than I would be using a member uh, in order to calculate some of the member like uh, computer equipment would be right member okay I'll be using this member computer equipment one five seven one double zero okay and the other two member I'm going to ignore it this is I used in previous example to calculate my cash flow so we'll use this member I can use a calculation script or calculation manager and put the formula over here so we use SYD function the output is going to store under my accumulate depreciation which is SYD depreciation temporary member I have used so I use uh, SYD depreciation and I use SYD function which takes three argument now the function and what argument takes you can see it over here the SYD function takes three argument cost member salvage value and lifespan okay so I'll pass the same the member which maintain the cost so which is our uh, 151700 is a computer equipment and second argument is salvage value and lifespan so second argument salvage value I put over here under my management reporting or residual or salvage is same word and lifespan I use a life dimension member I'll calculate for first year okay so the year dimension I'm going to calculate for the this function calculate for the range of year so in our example in Excel we calculate for individual year in S space we calculate for range of year I'm going to calculate for FI8 to FI10. I pass an argument FI8 colon to FI10. That's it. I can validate this. The function is correct and save it. The same example I can use in calculation manager as well. Okay. So we call calc SYD. Once calculation done, I would like to test the output. So I'll put the same number in order to test our output is correct. So I connect to my SBase queue in a smart view and focus those dimension members only. Do ad hoc analysis. And I can use any entity for the sake of testing. <coughs> take one entity, take one scenario, uh, take one time period. Time period should be actually it's a yearly depreciation, so I should use for given year. For sake of testing, I'm confining my focus to January month, and we are calculating for multiple year. Okay. Now let's put the value under account dimension. I'll be focusing on management reporting. Expand this and we need a residual value life as value depreciation. And I need a member 151700, which is a computer equipment. So now I put the same value over here, which I calculate into Excel sheet. For first year, let's keep only one month. So, computer equipment initial cost is forty five thousand. Okay, salvage value is five thousand, and life spends for four year. Okay, I'm going to calculate for SYD depreciation. So I put this value. I'm going to save it, and then SYD depreciation is likely to be calculated. Okay. So you can invoke calculation from here and test the output. 
refresh and this is the output you see uh, syd depreciation calculate for span of the year right the first year output 16000 12000 and 8000 respectively so your output and the output the system rendered exactly same we need to calculate in turn these depreciated value to calculate accumulate depreciation this is a simple example how to calculate depreciation in a space in the next example i am going to show you then a complete script or performing financial consolidation in a space uh, we will be using calculation manager in next example for now i'm going to stop here should you have any question please feel free to write to us bisp trainings and bisp solutions.com